morning. This is the first time I've tried to do a video at 7 o'clock in the morning, so we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> I guess my voice is not that gravelly. I'm going to attempt to see how far I got finally on the bingo card for Horror Mayhem. This is a recording on the 30th. I'll probably go up today as well, which means this is it for me for horror. I didn't, I didn't make everything, that's for sure. Let's see if I can remember how to get the drawing thing here. Okay. Um, all right. So Slasher, I did not get anything for. Possession. Translated Horror, I did not get anything. Kidnappings, didn't get any kidnapping stuff. Extreme Horror, I found one. I read one story that counts for Extreme Horror and Cannibalism. Those things go together was a story I read. It's probably going to show up backwards, right? Spanish called Echo de Carne. No, there's no uh, English translation of, of this story. It's, uh, it's uh, made out of meat. It's a transition um, kind of story because it's a, it's a weird western. It's about 30 pages long. Well, it's probably about... I, I have a hard time telling the Spanish because I have to read it so slowly. Uh, it's probably about a 15-page story. Kindle says 32 pages. means nothing. Could be 60 pages. Could be 12 pages. Those Kindle uh, page estimates are, are really useless. Anyways, by Nicholas Francis, who is a indie writer out of Argentina. Sure is gruesome, very uh, gruesome, set in the Old West. It's about an American, a drunk called the American because he has a, they, they call him the gringo rather, sometimes they call him the American because he has a northern accent and uh, he, he uh, gets involved with this, this cult, this cannibal cult and a lot of violence and tentacles and all kinds of really extreme stuff in there. So that counts for those. It, he has some other books that are interested in that that are have been translated. I think he translates them himself because he doesn't credit a translator. I'm sure these are self-published. Kind of interesting guy. This stuff's probably a little too extreme for what I'm really in the mood for these days. So anyway, I was, I was glad I read it. There was some other stu um, stuff I tried that I couldn't finish this month. Maybe maybe I'll do a month on wrap, wrap up and talk about that. Anyway. Uh, evil Children didn't get anything. Techno didn't get anything that I can think of. Dystopian Horror, nope. Holiday, nope. Did I get a holiday one? I should have read. I should have reread uh, Christmas Carol. Although it doesn't seem really like the time of year for it. Let's see what else I can find on here that I finished. I don't think there's anything. I think the rest of these are going to be abandoned. Cryptic. Uh, there was tentacle things in there. I'll count cryptic for Hatcher to Carney too. Because uh, there was. Uh, oh, oh! I did read some uh, Lovecrafting stuff. What was the name of that author? Oh, yeah. I can't pause this because I don't know. I don't know if uh, how to unpause it. On this, on the screen capture thing. So, give me a second here. The last other, the other last story I read. Probably not gonna show up here because I didn't read it on my phone. I read it on my my regular Kindle. I'll discuss it on the. There's a there's a, a story. Another indie book I read. I'll discuss it in my final wrap up that included possible aliens. Elemental horror, I'm going to count the Fritz Leibert novel I read uh, for that too because because there is, I don't want to really spoil that part, but um, in um, the Fritz Leibert novel that I read, Our Lady of Darkness, there is a kind of theory 
of energy or, or, or world energy kind of thing. Uh, that's probably, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, that would count for that, but I don't want to spoil that concept from the book. Do, 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 cozy horror. Did I read any cozy horror? Not even sure it counts for that. Okay, that's it. So one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. So I got, I got, I got a bingo there. I got a bingo there. That's two. I got two bingos out of this whole thing. And I got, if I'm counting it as a list, I got pretty far. So that's as good as it gets. I read a lot of horror this month, and I'll do a little wrap up in a day or two and talk about what I'm going to read next month. Until then, bye.